If you follow this channel, my YouTube channel, for any period of time, you know that I paint value shapes, that I don't see things, but I see shapes, and then I look at how light or dark they are, and I plug value, meaning how dark or light a shape is, in, and then create a painting. And what I want to do today is show you how to use triads to do that. Now triads means using three colors to accomplish one task. Here are three colors, and I'm going to show you in the video how to do this. And uh, I made this light triad, and then I used four colors in order to make this darker triad. You can, if you blur your eyes, you'll see there's a definite difference between the dark triad and the lighter triad. Triad just simply means, uh, I suppose it's supposed to mean that there are three colors used, but you can use as many colors as you want to. The whole point though, as I bring it in closer, is that every color keeps its integrity. You don't ever rub. You drop color in and let it uh, meet and mingle with the other colors there. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And then at the very end, I'll show you the painting I did using these triads. All right, so let's get started. All right, here are the triads again, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. But just take a look at them and consider how the colors stay separate and, um, and that the brush has nothing to do with that. We're working on dry paper and rub and putting on wet into wet paint. Now here's the painting that I'm going to end up using these triads to do. And what I'm pointing out here is that's where I'm going to put dark triad and that's where I'm going to put the lighter triads. So what you have to really do is squint and establish before you start painting where your darker value shapes are and where your lighter value shapes are. And also consider leaving some of the white of the paper white, although I don't use white out to do that. Now most of the form is sort of one tone. Um, so that's what makes a, a, a white peony particularly challenging, but what I enjoy doing is putting as much color into a white peony as it's possible to do, and that's what I'm going to try to do here. So the first triad is a light triad, and my usual light triad for clouds or a white cat or anything, pretty much almost anything that's white, is cerulean blue, a permanent rose, and then some Naples yellow. I'm using a flat brush, probably a size 16, I'm not sure here. And if I was doing this for realsies, um, I would definitely make bigger puddles than this. Because as you know, the paper tends to absorb a lot of paint. So here we go. First I'm just putting the colors out there so you can see them. Cerulean blue, permanent rose, maples yellow. There they are. That's my light triad for clouds, for white fur, for... Um, the shape on a vase, a white vase, for example. And now I'm going to uh, make a patch of that, sort of imitating where what a sh what the shape would look like on the white peony. It would be it would be a mid-tone shape, and this is how I would take care of it using three colors. The paper, like I said, is dry. It's 140 pound arch paper. See. The brush places the paint, but doesn't rub. Then I let the paint go where it wants to go. The paint will go wherever the uh, brush has already has left it a path. You know, I think what I'm trying to say is that water will always follow the path of the brush. So if I stop with the brush, the, the water will stop as well. That's how you can get a sharp edge if you want to. But sometimes it'll puddle up like you see there at the very bottom because of gravity. And so then I take the dry brush and just um, let the, the water um, come back and absorb it. Similar to the Bounty paper towel commercial, you know, where you put the quicker picker upper, where you put the br a dry brush nearby that um, wet puddle and just let the, um, let the brush will pull up the paint automatically. Now here's my darker triad and this is going to be um, ultramarine blue and again Naples yellow and the same um, permanent rose is going in. I could have used a red but uh, I don't I didn't want to. Um, I'm also using some uh, Viridian because I could see that in the petals. I could see there was some um, green being reflected from the foliage around. So here comes my next triad although I'm using I think I use five colors to do this as it turns out. So the word triad is misleading but there's permanent uh, so there's the ultramarine blue the um, permanent, ro permanent rose and then viridian, and you see it puddling down there, it makes a nice gray. Now I'm going to add to it. 
again, starting with the um, ultramarine blue. I've made it darker, added more pigment than I did in the patch that I first demonstrated. There's the permanent rose. You can already see how much darker this patch is going to be than the um, triad I did before. Here comes the viridian, just dropping it in a little bit. And this also would be, say, a patch on the peony where I saw a dark shadow, but instead of making it gray, as it appears in the photograph, I'm going to load it with as much color as I possibly can. And there's the Naples yellow. And at the very end, I think I felt like, um, you know, sometimes you just get a feeling. I thought, I want something a little bit warmer than this. It's pretty cold. And so I added a little bit of uh, quinacrin and sienna, just dropping in a little, little bit. So that would be in the dark shadows or the dark spots that I see. So one, two, three, four, that's, is that four? Four colors or five? I can't remember now. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's five. But the whole secret is never rub, never rub. So here's the value finder coming and we can see that that is a light triad or a light mass and the other mass is a dark mass. You can see the difference between the two really clearly. So if I match my masses to the shapes that I see in the photograph, I should end up with a white peony when I'm all done. And here's the white peony when I'm all done. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. And please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.